Hi friends, now we are going to talk about one area menu where you can budget by just typing four letters you can get all the transaction both related with general nature. Okay, what is that four letters that will give you everything? So the four letter that is important is FSMN. So you type in this and you just enter this and here you can see all the transaction code that you need for GL account. Okay. So you can find FB50, all these things. You don't need to learn it by heart. Okay, and there would be other stuffs that you can use. The master data, the GL accounts, the profit centers, all these things are very essential. And you don't need to know the transaction code by heart. You can get all these things. CFAGLL003, okay. So if you, you can double click on it and you can get into this and you can get the general ledger okay so i'll just execute and we can see oops there's nothing so i'll just take it out okay and we'll just execute and we can get all the general ledger okay for this for this particular company code okay so here you can here you can see 500 items selecting so since i ran it wide open it takes some time okay uh so oops, now it's getting generated hope it was not so long okay so the list is being generated and here from here you can get all the list for the general ledger these are very 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 important stuff okay now here this is one of the transaction that we check there are other stuffs you can do f-03 you can clear the spend general ledger you know the finance person will be able to do it very smartly okay and then there is profit centers then there is reporting Okay, you can get all the reporting related with standard audit file and all those things. Then if I scroll down, is there anything that is, then you have the statistic key figures, you know, this, these ones are very important stuff. I'm not a um, FI person, gen, but for sure, you will be able to find all those things. And then you have editing options, you can click every zero zero. And here you can put different like document only in document currency and all those things this is very very important and here you can define the type of template you want how you want to display the document display okay you, you want it here and all those things open items you want the payment reference as selection screen then all these things are very very important stuff and here you can define the layout so this is i think this is really nice and you can see the line items so here you can see you can put the default amount selection screen is amount and the default this is here so you can all change this this is very important and let me see payment reference as a selection criteria so what 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 it basically process open items with so if i save it uh, and then what happens it goes to FBLs uh, if I go to the payment display balance so payment reference no not this one so probably the payment reference will be there I don't know so it's probably something probably related with FBL 3 and we can get it okay so but you know these are very important stuffs that you can do let's try whether it did anything in FBL 3 and so probably it was another transaction that it reflects so payment reference is probably here we get the payment reference or something or it's go it goes out yes you see these they you have the reference number already there so that that did the trick okay so that's it so the the tricky the tricky name the name is just fsmn okay so that's it stay tuned to my sap channel and happy sap learning and have